I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily, jumping right into the market today in crypto. Bitcoin, what the heck? Bitcoin had this crazy pump to the upside. A move from about 19,125 all the way up to 20,400 and then gave all of it back. I made a quick video in the group and posted and, and gave ideas that this could be a bull trap. So understand this idea. There's a 68% chance that this falling wedge breaks out to the upside. If it re-enters the pattern, that's not good. That's swing failure pattern, that's bull trap. You, are, you, you have re-entered pa the pattern, but you're still holding this dotted trend line right here. So if the price action can't break out of this pattern, if you've got the DXY, the dollar is dominating the markets, it's the dollar is strong, and it's any chance of upside momentum for Bitcoin, the stock market, is being deflated by the DXY. So we're gonna dig deep into this idea in this video. Now let's understand this idea at its core. So when you get this type of breakout, you have a ton of volume. Look at the volume that you have coming in, right? No weak volume like this, tons of volume come in. All right, that means the market confirms the move. And you have this huge move to the upside. The strongest group of buyers should be sitting right here. Where are they at? They didn't show up. Not a good sign. Okay, you have to be able to read this price action. Patterns are good, they're important, but you're looking and you can tell strength or weakness in the price action based on how the chart and the candles actually close. This is the Bitcoin 12 hour chart. This has been our plan A, plan B, right? You still have this descending triangle, 64% chance of a break to the downside, running out of room, running out of room, looking for a move mid-October, worst case. I mean, this thing should break sooner Plan B is to open up longs based on a breakout to the upside. However, plan A, potentially more likely, 64% chance of a break to the downside. Traditional markets keep taking hits like they have recently. Bitcoin's in trouble, can see a lot lower prices. I've got some amazing shout outs to give on my trading group. This person, shout out to RC King. He's up 14X since March. This group rocks. This person is at $42,400. He had $7,000 left. He started with 20,000, came into crypto, lost $13,000, $7,000. He six X'd his money in the group, banging. This person, his portfolio is valued at $128,000. He started around $12,000. He 10 X'd his money. You've got to be in the right coins, period. You've got to understand how these breakouts work, how the fake outs work, how the bull traps work. If you're trying to take elite traders money, you better know what you're doing. We nailed quite a few shorts based on the bull trap to the upside this morning. So some solid gains from the bull trap. And again, every single day, every single day we post these in the trading group. I've had so many people rejoining the group and joining the group because of the discount. So we're gonna continue that can help you. I'll change your life forever, period. Remember, you go over to the website, cryptorev.net. Pays for itself. It's a no-brainer, cryptorev.net. If you go down into the description of this video, there's a link take you directly to this website. Remember, if you have any questions, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. Nailing the winners. Bitcoin. So this is CME. Bitcoin futures, and this is a six hour chart. So again, understand that a break to the downside of this triangle will give you a falling wedge or descending channel. And again, you're running out of room, but we're waiting for the move to confirm it. We're waiting for the move to trade it. We want Bitcoin to give us the plan of attack, the strategy. Let Bitcoin tell us what to do. Are we gonna go short? You had this, pump essentially a fake out because stock markets open and immediately this whole pump thousand dollar pump pulled back immediately the dxy how can the stock market win how can bitcoin win when the dxy is king right now the dollar index is on fire straight up 
the measured move, you don't want to see the DXY get there in one shot. All this, there's a bunch of sell orders stand, standing right here, right? So if you don't get some, some type of retracement, which would give Bitcoin a little bit of upside potential, if you don't see that and it breaks right through here, again, Bitcoin downside, stock market gets smashed. And we're gonna look at the stock market right now. This is the hopium, it doesn't look good. This is the ES1. So this is the S&P 500 E-mini futures. This is the last panic situation drop, V-shaped recovery. Now, this, again, you got this inverse like cup and handle pattern. This is the weekly chart, but it doesn't look good at this point, right? There's plenty of time left in the week, but you lose this level for the stock market and there's plenty of downside ideas for stocks. Stocks right now are taking a massive hit because the master manipulator, United States government, is strengthening the dollar by dumping $95 billion worth of assets a month. And they're raising the rates. They're tightening the money supply and it's working. DeFi needs to be regulated, says Jerome Powell, who interestingly enough is manipulating the entire market through the dollar. He said, DeFi needs to be regulated carefully and thoughtfully. So there's definitely a lot of people that are worried about what DeFi is going to take over a large part of the market. And they're worried about, you know, weakness in DeFi and work that needs to be done and regulations and things need to be carefully, thoughtfully spent time on. They need to think about these. And, and the main issue with DeFi is banks are gonna take a big hit because of it, because it takes the banks out of the picture. And how are banks gonna control everything with DeFi potentially taking over? So again, you'll hear more and more talk about this and, and we just have to watch how regulation plays out, but altcoin market cap, this is a total two. So this is a total altcoin market cap, total of all the altcoins, right? Right now you've got a bear flag, rising wedge. There's a 68% chance this rolls over and breaks to the downside. Measured move would put it right about here. So if this breaks lower, which it's supposed to, you'll see a pullback in the altcoins based on this idea. If you've made it this far in, in, in cryptocurrency, you've got to start understanding that your next play is where do I begin to accumulate these coins? Hopefully you're not just blindly holding the coins. That's the hardest way to learn this market is holding blindly. But it's important to understand that at some point you'll get some upside based on this pattern. There's a 68% chance it breaks out to the upside, but you could be down here at $400 billion. You could be down here before you get a breakout. So understand that wait for the breakout of the total two, and you'll get a bunch of good altcoin entries. So keep fresh money on the sidelines. You've got to have money on the sidelines and you've got to go big when it counts. You do not lose money in this market. Other people take your money. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.